so I'm just again doing the same thing this will be our main texture so I'm going to paste it set the top wireframe uh, layer to screen and I'm just going to scale down and rotate the texture appropriately for the for the result that we need just remove this bottom strip now duplicate it and yeah, just by accident I set the texture to linear dodge so just removing some edges some duplicated spots now I can merge those two layers together and duplicate the texture to the inside don't need to be too accurate for the inside in the two caps because th th those probably won't be seen at all so don't need to spend too much time thinking on that so let's create a decal for front of the bin just selecting to see which faces correspond to the UV snapshot so those on the top right are the ones that we need so in Photoshop getting the custom to you can get all of those custom uh, vector brushes with from the menu just click and select all of those I'm going to use the recycle one with the red color just going to place it on those three faces maybe that's a little bit too weak so I'm going to scale it down And again, using that default brush in Photoshop to make some scratches on the uh, decal itself. itself. Just to create that uh, same look as the main paint layer of the bin. That's done. And tweak the levels probably a little bit more. So it's probably to be too wide for that environment. So just tweaking the contrast again with the curves. Uh, Control M for the shortcut and just bringing the curve in the middle a little bit down. So I'm just creating two duplicates for the bump map. We're saving the color map, start the without channel off. Let's try um, this now. Create new material for the bin. New material X, bin material, and let's insert the color texture. This time the reflectivity, uh, reflectivity and the um, glossiness will be set much higher because this is a metal material. Also, we're going to do one more special thing, one more texture, texture map that we insert here. So let's render the from the render camera. Oh, it se seems nice. So the next thing is to create that uh, new texture. Uh, new map so this will be the specular map I'm just bringing up the, a little bit the bin and the bench so there the displacement doesn't catch it uh, with the geometry so um, we're going to create now a specular map for the bin so again this will be a black and white map so I'm going to uh, desaturate uh, those two and just going to increase the contrast on the main material so the specular map what it does 
is tells um, the renderer where exactly the material should be reflective and where it should be more uh, more or less uh, reflective so the black parts will be less reflective than the white ones so now we can just save the texture to get a little bit more to increase the contrast between black and white just have nice ref reflections but also spots that the those that are rusty doesn't have them so now I'm just going to send the bin spec map and in the material attributes let's first insert the bump map that we created with the specular one just uh, setting the bump depth from 2.2 selecting the bump map and now the more important one is the reflection map so under reflection under we can first tweak the sliders so just to how much we need the metal material to be reflective so again look at some references of some bins of some how the paint is applied to them how much reflective they are so this way you can know you know how much reflective that the bean needs to be so under the color attribute of the reflectivity tab uh, just click the checkered icon and sort the specular, specular texture there and again don't re uh, remember to turn the filtering off so the, those are the, all of the objects that we're going to texture for this tutorial all of the other objects you can derive the techniques from this one for example the bench is a combination of the texture from the window frame those are for the planks on the bench and the metal part is going to be um, just like the texture on the trash can the bin also the windows will be the same the uh, roof the roof will be like the ground with the displacement on it the fence will be um, just a new material with a green color and the the whole main building will be again the same the middle ground and the building on the right so the techniques that we've look up look up uh, now uh, cover all things you know you should know about um, creating the rest of the scene uh, by yourself so this is the final scene that I came up with you can see the roof uh, is again with, made with the displacement uh, this time I used uh, stones from the right building and not the plaster material the window blinds and the window themselves are again the same material just a, a green one with the green paint the fence is green, just a green Mia material X with a metal finish. The plant pots are again Mia materials um, with the texture. And the bench is uh, duplicated from uh, the left foreground bench. And for the stones on the wall, uh, I've used uh, the same material um, as the buildings, but uh, with uh, to three different textures so I had three different materials to um, have some variation in the stones themselves so I finished the scene with all the basic techniques that we've um, gone through this tutorial so I hope you enjoyed this part of the tutorial and see you in the last one next time where we're going to apply the finishing touches uh, to the whole piece and scene and we render it and compose it inside Photoshop so thanks and bye.